Hey, welcome to the channel everyone, I'm Grojan and today we are going to be playing Tavern Master. Now this game looks really good, I've had a little quick look at it and it seems like something I'm going to enjoy. Hopefully you will too. So we're just going to start a new game and let's have a look. So choose difficulty, relaxed, it's easier to make money and disasters are much less dangerous. Everything is balanced, this is how the game is meant to be played. That sounds about right for me, we're going to do that one. So welcome to your tavern, you'll be in charge of managing and growing your business. Take a look around, move the camera by dragging W, A, S, and D. This, and there we go. So, our tavern doesn't have enough walls. So, we need to first off, grab a few walls, and we'll just stick them where it tells us. <laughs> and then we're going to get a door, and we'll put that where it tells us to. So, this is just like the little tutorial bit at the start. We need a window for our walls, let a bit of natural light in. Now, we need some tables and benches. So, a table, we're going to grab one of, one of these. we we'll stick it right there. At least they're in the wrong position. Okay, we'll put it there instead. Now we need some seats. We put one there and one there. And we need some lights. So we'll stick one on that little post there and that'll light this little set of tables up. Right, now we need some beer. So over to our table. We have got a water barrel. And all we can buy up to now is a beer barrel. So we'll grab one of them. And now we need to fill it up. That's going to cost us 150 coins, which is quite a lot considering how much we've got. But that's fine. We need it. What's a pub with no ale to drink? All right, great job. Now we have a place for people to sit. We have drinks to serve. Final thing missing is to hire staff. So we are going to need to hire a bartender. So we got Gail. Gains experience twice as fast. He can carry eight drinks at a time. He can as well. And so can he. So I want to pick one of these. Let's go for... Let's go for Bert. We'll take Bert and we'll hire a waitress. So we've got Alyssa, attracts 3.5 more customers every day. That actually sounds pretty good to me. So we're going to hire you, Alyssa. And that's it for now. We've prepared everything we need for the guests to start coming in. Before we unpause time, let's see how you can unlock new stuff for the tavern. Click the research button. So we can start researching a kitchen. So that's what we're going to do. And then we'll start selling food. The number of guests per day tells you how many people will come into your tavern on average every day. Buy decorations and upgrade your tavern to increase that number. Right. We're all set and the tavern can be opened. Press play. My final tip to you is that you must watch out if there's enough space to sit. If all the seats are taken, buy more tables and benches. Good luck. Right, so. We have got our first customers of the day. Our waitress is going to start getting the drinks from the barman and serving the people at the tables. Just what we want to see. Right, so we are going to need more tables. They're full already. So let's grab ourselves a table. We're going to stick you about there. And then we're going to need a couple more seats. So we'll put one there. That looks enough room to walk through, I think. Perfect. So we've only got 80, 80 coins left. So we need to start earning a little bit more money so we can start doing some extra stuff. And now that we can do stuff ourselves, what I'm going to do is move this table across there. Move the bench over, move that bench, and move this one over there as well. It's going to free up a little bit of space in our tavern. There we go. Much better. Now we can fit another three tables there if we get enough money. It costs 200 coins to get another table in. So that's where, that's where we are. Our research is on the go. This is our quests. We need to own four tables and we get three points. When we build our points up enough, we get to unlock some new stuff. This goes on and on for miles. So we're going to get started. Own eight benches. Yeah, so if we've got four tables, we'll have eight benches. So that's not too bad. Change the tavern name by clicking the sign outside the tavern. Okay, so our tavern is going to be called... Can anyone guess? Grojan's Grog. That'll do. That'll do. Right, so we've got 100 quid now. 122. Our money is going up fairly fast, but I'm sure... As time passes, things will go a little bit. I'm sure it'll go faster, but it'll go down quick as well because we're going to be spending loads of money. So now we've done that, we can collect this two. So we need 10 to get our first reward of 100 coins. Finish any research. That's half done already, so that's not too bad. Over here, we've got our thing so we can top up our water and our beer. That's pretty full anyway. It will cost us 12, 12 coins to fill it back to the top. We have finished our first day. 
and I think we made a loss. I clicked off it because I was trying to do something else at the same time, but never mind. We are on day two. So we're just waiting on a little bit of money now so that we can buy more tables. And when our research is done, we can build our kitchen as well. As long as we've got enough money to do it. I'm not too concerned with that. I think um, we'll get there. We'll get there. So we have got 210 prestige and we can use that prestige to buy some stuff. But we also need coins as well. So you are limited. It's like a little two tier, two tier requirement to buy some stuff. But that's all right. Right, so we have got 114. We need 200 for the table and 50 for each bench. So 300 coins we need. But it's okay. We still got some space. We still got some space. Let's have a little look at our surroundings while we're here. So we have got Grogen's Grog. Down this way, we've just got a little trail. We can't go past there. This side is just a bit of a forest. Over here, we have got like a little castle, which I'm imagining is like the little town, the village or whatever. Like a little medieval town. So our money is up to... Or uh, 150. If we click on a light, it tells us here bad wax and oil quality is 10 coins per day. There's a 14% chance of fire each week. But oh, we've got to keep an eye on that. We're gonna need to, we're gonna need to find a way not to burn the place down, right? <laughs> but also we click on Oops. Congratulations on unlocking the kitchen. Here it is 800 bonus so you have enough money to build it okay so that sorted that out so how do we if we click on lights okay so it shows us where it is illuminated so all this is illuminated for our people so that is good so now we need to sort a kitchen out but let's go and finish the research we'll grab our two reward points for this it's telling us now that we need to hire oh no our people have leveled up Elisa has leveled up and we can give her one more one more research points speed while carrying oh she can carry an extra drink now that's even better and Bert has leveled up too we're going to start the next day with 950 coins and we're going to work on our kitchen and we're also going to start another research we are going to learn lemonade okay serve 20 customers that's that one done so we need kitchen kitchen we need a plate shelf where can we do our kitchen right before we do that we're going to do our little shop counter so we need the chef on one side and the customers on the other side so we're going to stick you around about there we're going to get a plate shelf let's turn this around so we can see a bit better plate shelf right about there and we need this little box a crate and the reason for the crate is is that going to be enough room for our people to get through so what we're going to move this forward a little bit and we're going to move our crate back there that should be better now we're going to need to hire a chef so hire chef is redford gains experience two times faster same for this guy plus two bonus for every main course served is that us or him i don't know but we're going to gain experience faster we're going to go for redford right so now we can start serving food to the people and I think this is going to be quite good. So we have a little box here. And each item there is what we use to make our food. And every time he cooks something, the limits go down. So we have to keep topping them up and making a little bit more money. So we have got a little bit of cash again now. So we are going to buy another table. So we're going to have one of you. We're going to stick you. We might have to put it around about there. And we get a couple of benches. One there. And one there. And next up, I think we're going to need to extend. I think we're going to need to extend. So if we go to our builder menu and get our walls, we are going to go from there right to the end. And then we'll do the same on this side. But we're not going to have enough money to do this whole section just yet. Okay, so that'll do. Flooring. Can we change our floor textures? So this is the same as the other room. And I think I'm going to keep it just as it is. Just to go in line. I think as well that we have got enough money for our last wall. There we go. And then I want to knock down this wall. Right, next up, I want to move my tables about. I think we can make better use of the space. But before that, we're going to need lights. So when we've got a bit more money, we're going to add some lights over this side. 
And then we're going to move all these benches over there and make ourselves loads of room. Money is our big issue right now. So lights, it costs 50 air lights. So we can get two. And that should be enough room for them tables. So we'll drag you to there. You. The people are sitting there floating. <laughs> and they're all paused in time while we're busy reorganizing our little tavern. Grab that one. Grab you. And you. This should be the perfect amount for one row. And then next time we add some more, we can just do a second row. Yeah, look at that. There's just enough room to walk down the side, which is perfect. And then we are going to move our kitchen as well. Uh-oh. We just made all our people sad. They've all got up and left. <laughs> oh, well. Never mind. More will come in. Hopefully they spent the money first. Oh, so we're going to grab you. Or well, we're going to try. Oh, you got to do it this way. I'm going to grab you and stick you right there. We're going to put you there. And we'll stick you there. There we go. That looks much better. Much more tidy. Uniformed. You know. Right. Research. We own four tables and eight benches. So that has given us 100 coins. Now we could use that. Or we could save that for another table. How are we doing for stock? This could actually do it being topped up as well. So we're going to just spend all of our money doing that for now. So we are coming up towards the end of day two. And everything does actually feel like it's going to plan. Our beer is getting a little bit low. We're going to need to top you up slightly. Just spend the 64 quid on that. And we're down to eight coins. But our prestige level is going up as well, which is kind of good. We have ended day two. We've ended day two minus nearly a thousand coins we lost today. But that's all right. We're going to start day three anyway. So hopefully people start coming in and things are going to go well. So Redford has leveled up. We're going to take you up there. His salary has increased when we've done this as well. But we are going to change his skill for main courses. It's going to go up. We are not doing any research. Oh, we've got lemonade now as well. This one. What's that say? I don't actually know what this is. This must just be more people, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We can buy. Oh, we got no money. Minus 21. When we've got a bit of money, we're going to buy a lemonade barrel for 200 coins. So now it's going to be all about making a little bit of money. What have we got here? Someone must have... No. I thought we must have... Oh, buy a new lemonade barrel. That's what our new quest is. Serve more than 30 customers in a day. We're not doing too good on that one just yet. We might do this actually because we had 46 in the last day. But we're averaging 46. So that's quite good. Buy a fire extinguisher. This might actually be quite a good idea. What will that come under? Decorations. Nope. Special. There we go. Right. Do we want the double barrel? Is that that? Fire extinguisher? Yeah, we'll grab you. And we're going to stick you right by. Think we can fit it by the door? Looks okay, right? There we go. If we have a fire now, I'm guessing if we have a fire, it's either going to come from these little lights or the kitchen. I'm guessing the kitchen because our chef isn't great, is he? So, yeah. Right, so we've done that one. 14 points. Wait for our next quest on there and level up a little bit more. We've got a lovely little lake at the side. I wonder what it costs for a window. A hundred. A hundred coins for the window. So they're going to be sitting with unnatural life for a little while. Because we haven't really got the money to sort that out. We are still saving up for our lemonade barrel. That costs us 200, was it? I think. How are we looking for stock in our barrel? This is still looking quite good. We're not doing too bad there. Right. We, Alyssa, has leveled up. Let's give it this. And we're going to make her carry five drinks. We're going to make her. Sounds kind of bad, that, but you know what I mean. We're not going to make her. We're just going to help her out. Oh, we must have just finished the research. So, we get more guests now. Okay, yeah, so that's gone up to 54. And now we can research musicians. Let's do that. After that, we can research special events and a takeout. Okay, so 169. We nearly got enough for our little lemonade battle. Hopefully. I don't know whether we'll make that by the end of the night, but we're going to try. Either way, we've got uh, the pub is closing. Everyone is starting to leave. So 
By the time we paid our wages tomorrow, things won't be great. We got one person. Oops. We got one person sit there on his own finishing his drink. Right, our day is over. We are going to go on to day four, I think. Day four. Okay, so we are at 96. We should, we should make enough money this, in this day. I'd like to think. One more quest. One more quest and we can change our floor into floor tiles instead of this wooden look. But I do kind of like this wood. It looks okay. Right, 177, 179. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We've got one more quest. Save 39 customers. Wow, we've done loads today. We have unlocked the floor tiles. Let's have a little look at our flooring. Not on that one. Not on that one. Floor texture. So that's the one we've unlocked. We could change. This doesn't actually cost any money. But we're going to change all of it. Except. For the little section where our chef is. Oh, do you know what? We're going to change this as well. <laughs> just, <laughs> just to make it match. Here we go. What do we think? Looks a bit colder. But I think it's going to be fine. Right. So we have got enough for our lemonade barrel. Lemonade barrel. We're going to stick that over to the side. And we're going to fill it up halfway with the money we have got left. Which isn't too good. I mean, it's not bad, I guess. Right, Bert has leveled up. We're going to let him carry an extra drink. And Redford leveled up too. Skill for main courses. We're going to make his desserts a little bit better. Right, that's good. Coming up to the end of the day again, we're back at 100 quid, but I'm not, there's no doubt we're going to spend most of that money on wages overnight. So, them researches are done. Do we want to do special events or research? Let's start our special events first, and then we'll move on to research. Today, we lost 74 coins, which wasn't too bad. And we're going to start day five. We are on eight coins. Trojan's Grog is open for business. Right, we are at 43. Our beer and lemonade are getting a little bit low. And our fruit. We're going to buy fruit first. And then we'll worry about the beer and, beer and lemonade. But we're also saving for at least... At least four more tables. I think... I do think we need it. And then we're going to probably have to worry about more staff. Because our waitress is going to be too busy to keep up. Look at all them drinks. Is that drinks people have ordered and she just can't keep... Keep up because she's doing food. Must be, yeah, look. She's going out delivering them all. And she's left them ones to go and get some. I don't actually know what that is. I don't know. She's doing well, though. She's being busy. She's stopped for a drink herself. Lazy guy. She hasn't even had a break yet. Okay. Research. Buy a lemonade barrel. That's that one done. We're nearly at 150. If we can get a musician's podium, we're going to... That'll take us to 29. We'll be one short. Own one carpet. Can we actually afford a carpet? I don't want to spend 100 quid on a carpet just yet. No. No, we're not doing it. Right, our drinks are okay. I need 200. Just so we can at least get the table in. But things are looking good so far. Our prestige is up to 280. I think if... Oh, do you know when I was saying about these? I thought that that cost prestige to buy it. Now I'm thinking it gives you prestige. I'm thinking if we buy one of these, it'll add 30 to this, which kind of makes a bit more sense. It does, actually. Right, we are about to just earn enough. Wow, we just made loads of money in one go. We're going to grab one of these tables, and we're going to put you around about there. I think that's enough room. Can we afford a couple of seats? We can. There we go. Perfect. Looks like there's enough room there. It's going to be kind of a tight squeeze, but there is enough room for people to get in and out. So that's okay. Right. We need to buy some more lemonade. Because we didn't actually fill it up in the first place. And then we're going to need to top up our beer. Our little food boxes are still looking okay. We could do with some more fruit again. But for now, for now, I'm happy with how it's going. It's coming up to the end of day five and people are starting to leave. And our waitress has got to do a little bit of cleaning. Look at the mess. Now, I think we're going to have to order. Oh, we just got some more prestige. I think we're going to have to hire another member of staff fairly soon. But we are starting on day six. And the customers are starting to come in. Nice. 
What have we got here? Menu. Okay, so we have leveled up our bread rolls. That's one star on our bread rolls. Everything else is still on zero. But that must mean that our wheat is going down a little bit quicker as well. We are back in the green. We have got 12 coins now. 33 even. Oh, I'm loving this game. Um, it's nice and chilled, but there's enough going on to keep me busy and focused and stuff. 53 quid. I want to get another 200 for another table. I also... Oh, do you know while we're there? I was saying about a wall, right? So let's get one just there. Hey. Okay. Yeah, that looks good to me. Just like block him off a little bit. Give him, a, uh, give him his own little kitchen area. Looks really good. Right, we're back up to 64. Alyssa has leveled up. And we're going to ask her to walk faster. After this, we might give her some tips or some speed when not carrying, maybe. I don't know. But things are looking well. Our people seem happy. Our money is going up at a decent pace. A decent pace. Okay, congratulations on unlocking the events. Here's how they work. Click the events button. Click the plus button. Choose the event and click to confirm it. Wait for the event to come. Okay, so if we click on our events, right? And we click on Wednesday. We haven't actually got enough prestige to start any events. We got 300. The cheapest one is 600, so we can't do that just yet. But it's there, ready, and good to go. We're going to research our takeout instead next. We're going to start day six, is it? Day six, maybe? I don't know, we'll start it either way. Okay, good to go. We're still in the green, we got 51 quid. We do actually need to buy a rug or something. We also need tables to bring our money in a little bit quicker, and I think that that's going to be more important because more tables that we've got the faster we can buy other stuff but we still need three more benches refill 100 150 liters of any drink well our beer actually does need refilling so we're gonna do that now that didn't do enough that done 71 so we still gotta do a bit more but we're back at 49 quid we're doing really well nearly all of our tables are full we've got two two empty seats there and one there Right, she's going to take the orders. There's some drinks on the side there. And there's some food on the side. She's starting to struggle with the amount of work that she's got to do. But at the same time, if I buy more, I won't be able to upgrade as quick. So we've got to find that balance. Got to find that balance. Right, how are we doing there? We need fruit. We top you up. And then we need to buy some wheat. Our vegetables are going down slow. Just shows that our customers aren't really... Vegetable eaters. You kind of uh, want bread rolls, I guess. Bread rolls and fruit. What are they having, like banana butties or something? Who knows? Who knows? Nighttime has arrived. So we are getting 60 people. It's cloudy today and the weather affects how many people come in. So we are gaining 10% of our customers because of the nice weather. Which is kind of good, I guess. Okay, another day is over and we have lost 39 quid, 39 coins, and we're just going to start on day, we're around about day 7, I'm not totally sure, but things are looking good, we are, we only have 12 left, that shows you what it tells you at the end of every day, this one, you can have icons over your people, so the bartender, see, she's got something over the top of her now, show a walkable area, so everywhere that's blue people can walk, Special customer icons. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put that on just so we can see if any come in. I show an indicator for waiting time. That might actually be a good one to put on because the longer it gets, it means we need more staff, I guess. Right, it's telling us that Redford has leveled up, so we're going to do skill for soup. Right, our research is nearly done. So what was the last one that we done? special events yet we know that but we can't actually do it yet how much does it cost for our little is it under special no how much does it cost us for our little podium 120 we can't actually buy one of these maybe we stick him over there just like that and that has probably finished the quest for us buy a musician's podium oh look at that we just gained 150 for that that's perfect so now if we click on you we're gonna get a one person band, eight songs, gave us seven customers, and guests wait 10 seconds more on this floor. 
you know what? It might be okay. Rotate the band towards the crowd. Your selection will be applied tomorrow. Okay. I think things are going well. I think things are going well. Oh, we can afford another table now. So let's grab one of you. We'll stick you next to there. And then a seat we can afford. We can actually afford two of them. That's good. Right, and that might have finished. Oh, we're one bench short. One bench. I a musician's podium. We claim that one. Own one carpet. We can't afford the carpet, so there's, there's nothing we can do with that one. Just yet, anyway. Some crates are missing ingredients, right? We need wheat. All of our money has been spent on wheat. Build a takeout counter. Okay, so we need to build a wall with a counter. Then buy the takeout counter. Buy a packing table and wait for customers. Okay. So before we do that, we're going to start our research for the adventurer's table. And then... That's what we need. It's 100 coins. We have got one. <laughs> we are nowhere near the money that we need. That's all right, though. That's okay. Right, so we're just waiting for our money. It's building up a little bit faster now with the extra tables, so that's kind of good. All the people are waiting a little bit longer than I would like. So we are going to get another waitress. I think this means that we need another waitress and another chef. But we're going to pick Judy. Mood is not affected by cleaning. She can only carry four drinks. We need someone who can carry loads right now. And we're going to need another chef. Let's see. Plus two bonus for every soup served. Right, we're going to take Isaac. We're going to take Isaac. Okay, so this is going to cost us quite a bit of money now. And I uh, think, look at that. We lost nearly 100, about 160 coins overnight. And that will... Oh, look, there's our little guy. He's come to play some music. I wonder how long he stays for. It says seven songs or something. Right, so organize any event once, which we can't do just yet. Own 13 benches, 150 liters and one carpet. Right, can we... We've got no money left, but we do need to upgrade our lemonade. We're going to need more wheat again soon. But I'm happy with how it's going. The place is still standing. People are still coming in. we got entertainment. we got food and we got beer. Loads of lovely young men and women. I say young, look at the beard on him. <laughs> okay, on our menu, our fruit bowl has leveled up. So that is one star fruit bowl now. Right, what do we need? Right, we've got 159, 183. Shall we get another table next? Or do we, are we desperate for topping anything up? Our lemonade might last a little bit, but our wheat won't. Okay, so that's where our money's going. And we're going to just top up our lemonade a little tiny bit. Just with the 34 that we've got. It looks like we're going to have to wait another day for the next table. So the weather is affecting. We're losing 10% of our guests a day because of the weather. I mean, 10% of 50. It's not a great deal. It's not a great deal. It's only like five and a half people a day. We have unlocked our adventurous thing. And now we can unlock. We can start researching ale. This is going to be great because it's an extra bottle of drinks. And it might make the people a little bit happier. We're at 143, 149, right, I don't think we're going to have enough before the end of the night, because they're all going to start going home in a minute, but we're going to be poor when we paid everyone's wages, but there are two chefs who are just standing there, oh, we didn't actually want to buy a table next, we want to build our takeout counter, so let's see how we start off the next day, minus nine, so that won't take long to build up, I'm going to put my little takeout counter right there in the window, so our chefs can serve. I'm guessing it's the chefs. If not, the woman. Uh, the waitress woman stands here anyway. And she just takes stuff straight out. So I think we're going to be fine. Right, this is saying Judy has leveled up. So we're going to say she can be a little bit faster when she's carrying drinks. Right, that'll do me. Bert has leveled up. We're going to say speed while carrying. Why not? Why not? That's that. All done. Menu. Our little cherry cake has leveled up. We make 25 coin per cherry cake now. That's, I didn't realise that the better quality it is, the more money it's worth. Oh, let's get this. We're going to put you there. And then we're going to go to our little special thing there. We need 150 for our little takeout counter. But that costs 150. We just haven't got enough. We've got to look at it from the outside. So that's all that is. 
So as soon as we get another 50 quid, we're going to get that. And then we can start selling stuff from outside. I think we needed something else too. But we'll wait. Ah, oh, there we go. We've got enough. Right. Special. This. Here we go. And we also need... Is it a kitchen item? One of them. Another 150. Just for this little preparation table. Just for... I think it's a prep table. Packing table. Pack the stuff ready for it to go out. You are missing a packing table in your kitchen. Yes, we know. We know. Right, we need more lemonade though. We're gonna fill you up with our last 50 quid. And how's our stuff looking there? They're all okay. Look at that. Sea bass, green beans, mushrooms, turkey, ham, walnuts, cheese, coconut and strawberry. We can't do any of that yet. So we need another 100 quid. But we're running out of time today. Our menu. Something has leveled up. Our apple pie. Gives us an extra five every time someone orders it. And we have refilled 150 litres of drinks. Dutch ships and in a calm sea. Is that a painting? It looks like a painting. 200, a new recipe. That looks like cheese. Another little loss for the day, but, you know, we're doing okay. Start day, roughly day 10, I think. I think it's hard to keep track. I don't think it tells you what day we're on. So we need 150. This guy is still performing. Doing a good job. What's that little thing called? What he's got? It's, it's not... I wouldn't say it's a guitar. I don't know. If you know the name of it, let me know in the comments, please. Okay, so our food. We're getting a little bit low on fruit, but I want to try and get this 150. <gasps> oh, no. A fire broke out in your tavern on floor zero. Audio staff to go... Audio staff to go to fire extinguishers. And they will do their best to extinguish it. Click on an employee, find the closest extinguisher and click it. Use steps one and two to order other employees to extinguish. Wait for the fire to be extinguished. Okay, so click you onto there and you onto there. Okay, focus on fire. I told you it was going to be our chef. I knew it. They're going to go and put it out. Everyone is leaving apart from the chef and the waitress. And they put the fire out. Okay. Some burned furniture in your tavern. You're missing a kitchen counter. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, kitchen counter. I'm guessing we need to delete this one first. Can't sell this item. Guess we're just gonna. You can't move it because employees are stationed at it. How do we delete it? Okay, let's just move it over here in a minute. And we are going to buy... Oh, no, we can't even buy a new one. Okay, we're just going to have to leave it there in a minute. We're just going to have to leave it there. Okay. So we can't save food until we sort this out. Which is kind of bad. We're, the money's coming. We only need another 24 coins. 21. All right, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Oh, we finished research. Right, so we can do ale next, but we're kind of struggling a little bit. Drink prices? We could raise the prices of our drinks. That one. Oh, we can't actually click them. We can start this one. More waitresses. Okay. Right, we've got enough money for our little counter. So if we get rid of you a minute, and we get a kitchen counter... You right about there. Oh, buy burn furniture again. 50. Ah, there we go. Right, that's good. That's good. So it cost us 150 anyway. You are missing a packing table in the kitchen. Yes, we know. But as soon as we get 150 quid, we can sort that out. That was a bit of a disaster that day, wasn't it? We lost 109 coins and we're going to be really bad the next day. We are on minus 150. We need to make 300 just to buy our little packing table so we can start making use of this little counter to the outside. Same food as for regular menu. Yes, that looks good. A discount. Higher discounts attracts more customers towards the takeout. Well, we can't yet because we've got no money. How's our little box doing? It's going down slowly. That's fine. How's our alcohol doing? Lemonade is nearly out and we've got no money to replace it. It's going to be a long... It's going to be a long day. So... <laughs> 
So, oh, we nearly got enough money for our packing table. Go on, ten more. Seven more. There we go. A right, kitchen. Packing table. And we're in business. We're in business. We can start doing takeouts. Right, so next up. I'm not even sure what we need. Oh, we need lemonade. We ran out. I'm going to top that up with the 73 that we've got. That'll have to do for now. Menu. Our cream rolls have leveled up. Another one star item. And over there, Judy has leveled up. Right, we're going to give her... going to give her some more tips as well. We haven't got any floors, so I'm not going to bother with the sp speed of the climbing stairs. I don't think it's... I think it's a bit of a waste. So we still can't do anything else with our events because we haven't got enough prestige to do it. Everything else seems to be running smoothly now. We are going to get... Can we put this underneath our tables? Oh, we can. Nice. So we're going to put you there. We've nearly got a picture of a ship. And then that 200 coins is going to come in so handy. What's the maximum coins we get? 2,000 on all them. That'll be really good. Okay, so today is done. And you know what? That is going to be a good place for us to end out for the day. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope you are enjoying it. It's been fun. If you are new here, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think. I want to say a massive thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.